you getting used to this featherweight thing yet? I feel like you're in a lot better mood than you might be on the day before 135. Absolutely. I'm energetic. I'm, I'm live right now, man. Yeah. You picked up a big win in the first round of the tournament over a tough guy. Um, I wonder, I mean, the weight, how, how much did it factor into the way you felt in there and how you were able to perform? It factored in great. Honestly, had I not been uh, able to go uh, 45 that fight, it would have been a, a rough night for me because I was battling some injuries, you know, that that weight cut would have really fucked me over, you know. And so being able to not really fo have to focus solely on that weight cut and, and, and having my body with fluids in it and... and, and um, my joints not cramping up because I, you know, it just helped out. So being at 45 is definitely a different beast. It's a different DC. I feel like it's DC 2.0 to Wolf 2.0, and and so Saturday I'm gonna go out there and, and, and show some, showcase some skills. Yeah, I know there's still a long way to go in this tournament, but I wonder. I mean, is there a chance that you say, man, 135 is just not worth it anymore? Maybe like you said, DC 2.0. Let's just keep it here. Absolutely. Once I got that strap around my waist, you know. What's the point of going back 35 unless it's for a title, you know? Um, titles talk, you know? I'm in here for legacy. I'm in here for, um, obviously, to be able to make enough money to retire, yeah? And so uh, put myself in this position at this 145-pound tournament is, is going to help, you know? Um, and then once I win that strap, we'll talk about other things. Nice. You know, you mentioned the losses to Horiguchi. I mean, no shame there. Obviously, the guy's an elite-level fighter. But, I mean, have you been able to put those behind you? Do they, do, do they haunt you a little bit? Does it bug you a little? Or, or have you moved past it? Man, I spilt milk. It, it's nothing I could do about that, you know, except clean up moving forward, you know. Uh, I think 45 is my home. Uh, and if shit was to ever go back down uh, and I get my hands on Horiguchi, it would be a different outcome. Very nice. This tournament is filled with talent, man, no question about it. Obviously, you being one of those names. What do you think about Boris? Kind of the, the young kid, right? It was a little bit of a maybe an unknown coming in. What, had you been watching him, what, and what do you think of him? Well, I think uh, Bellator does a great job with trying to find uh, guys from different countries or different planets to beat me. It's not going to happen in America. You're not going to find somebody in America to beat me. So uh, we go over to these other countries to find somebody that can, to, to, that can beat me. But um, I think um, Adam's a, a, a great co competitor. You know, he's 14 and 0 for a reason. He's 5 and 0 in Bellator. Um, he poses a lot of threats, but but it's just a different beast. It's just a different beast. Uh, He's not fought anyone like me. He can train again with people like like me, you know. But there's no Darion Caldwell, you know. He'll feel that September 28th, or uh, he'll feel that on Saturday. Um, but yeah, he's good. He's explosive. He he, he does well with range. He's, he, things that we all know. Um, but if he thinks he's gonna knock me out, if that's his, if it, oh, I'm gonna knock. Like, if that's your only thing, you're gonna have a short. It's gonna be a short night for you, but yeah. I was wondering. I mean, stylistically, do you feel like you're just the worst possible matchup for him? Absolutely. Uh, I think I, we all know what he's what he's gonna be looking for, yeah. But it's just a different wrestling. I, I don't wrestle like these guys. I'm not these guys. You wouldn't. You won't see me stagnant looking for a shot, standing here, you know. And so he's gonna he's gonna run into a different beast, you know. Uh, once I get my hands on Adam. It's going to be a short night. Have you started to look forward in the bracket? Oh, I know it's a little dangerous to look too far ahead, but another young stud around the corner, maybe a little bit more established. I mean, fighting undefeated guys back-to-back. -back. Is there something kind of exciting about that possibility? Absolutely. I'm considering myself the one. I'm the one that beat, that, that's going to beat Adam Borg, put that one on his, on his record. I'm the one that's going to beat A.J. McKee, put that one on his record. And then I'm going to be the one to win that tournament with that $1 million. So I'll be in the number one spot. So I am the one. By 2020, I will have this strap, 145. You better believe this shit.